Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power negative x is equal to 8. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. 3 to the power x minus, by using this property, a to the power negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power n. This 3 to the power negative x will become 1 divided by 3 to the power x is equal to 8. Now, we suppose that let 3 to the power x is equal to m. When we substitute m in this equation, then this equation will become m minus 1 over m is equal to 8. And if we multiply both sides by m, then this implies that m squared minus 1 is equal to 8m. When we move this 8m to the left side, then this equation will become m squared minus 8m minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 8 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula, m is equal to minus value of b minus 8 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 8 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 next m is equal to this minus and this minus become positive 8 plus or minus square root of this negative 8 squared is equal to 64 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and this is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 64 plus 4, 68 divided by 2. Next, m is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of this 68 can be written as 4 times 17 divided by 2 and m is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 17 divided by 2. And this is equal to, from these two terms we can factor out 2. 2 as a common factor and in brackets left 4 plus minus square root of 17 divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of m. m1 is equal to 4 plus square root of 17 and m2 is equal to 4 minus square root of 17. But we need to find the values of x. So, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that 3 to the power x is equal to m. We have supposed that 3 to the power x is equal to m. First, in this equation, we put this value of m 4 minus square root of 17. 3 to the power x is equal to value of m is 4 minus square root of 17. Now, this function 3 to the power x is greater than 0. And because this square root of 17 is bigger than this 4, so this 4 minus square root of 17 is less than 0. 
So, no solution is possible from this equation. Now, in this equation, we put this value of m1 4 plus the square root of 17. 3 to the power x is equal to 4 plus the square root of 17. From here, we take a log of both sides. Log of 3 to the power x is equal to log of 4 plus square root of 17. Now, by using this log property, log of a to the power m is equal to m times log of a. This log of 3 to the power x will become x times log of 3 is equal to log of 4 plus square root of 17. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by log of 3, then this implies that x is equal to log of 4 plus square root of 17 divided by log of 3. And by using this log property, log of a divided by log of b is equal to log of a to the base b. This value will become x is equal to log to the base 3 of 4 plus square root of 17. This is the final value of x. This is the final answer of this equation. Now, let us verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation. The original equation is 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power negative x is equal to a. In this equation, we put this value of x log base 3 of 4 plus square root of 17. Then this equation will become 3 to the power value of x is log base 3 of 4 plus square root of 17 minus 3 to the power minus value of x is log base 3 of 4 plus square root of 17 is equal to 8. Next, 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 plus square root of 17 minus this 3 to the power negative log base 3 of 4 plus root 17 will become 1 over 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 plus root 17 is equal to 8. Now, by using this log property, b to the power log base b of a is equal to a. This 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 plus root 17 is equal to 4 plus root 17 minus 1 divided by this 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 plus root 17 is equal to 4 plus root 17 is equal to 8. Now, we can write the denominator of this 4 plus root 17 1. And we take LCM. LCM of 1 and 4 plus root 17 is 4 plus root 17. And 4 plus root 17 divided by 1 is 4 plus root 17. We multiply this 4 plus 17 by this 4 plus root 17. It becomes 4 plus root 17 whole squared minus 4 plus root 17 divided by this denominator 4 plus root 17 is 1. And 1 times this 1 is 1 is equal to 8. Now, this 4 plus root 17 whole squared is equal to 4 squared plus square root of 17 squared plus 2 times 4 times square root of 17 minus 
this one divided by 4 plus root 17 is equal to 8. Now, this 4 squared is 16. This square will be cancelled out with this square root. Okay, we are left with plus 17. Plus 2 times 4, 8 times this root 17 minus this one divided by 4 plus root 17 is equal to 8. Now, 16 plus 17, 33 and 33 minus 1, 32 plus 8 times root 17 divided by 4 plus root 17 is equal to 8. From these two terms, we can factor out 8. 8 as a common factor and in bracket left 4 plus root 17 divided by 4 plus root 17 is equal to 8. Now, this 4 plus root 17 will be cancelled out with this 4 plus root 17 and uh, at left side we are left with 8 is equal to 8. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x log base 3 of 4 plus root 17 is a valid solution.